It is vote 2022. The Florida primary was held today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And we want to update you on some of the key races right now. Former Governor Charlie Crist and current Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Fried. This race has been called about 10 minutes ago by the AP, the Associated Press. Charlie Crist, 60% to Nikki Fried's 35% wasn't even close. And we are going to take you live right now to Fort Lauderdale where Nikki Fried is speaking. Let's listen in. So now I am asking every Democrat across the state of Florida, make sure that you are talking to your family. Make sure you're talking to your friends because we understand that democracy is on the line in November. Democracy, everything that we have been fighting for. Every little girl who has left a country for tyranny, we have to keep fighting for. For every black entrepreneur that is up against a rigged system, we have to keep fighting for. For every teacher who wants to teach, we are going to keep fighting for you. And for every and that is Nikki Freed in Fort Lauderdale. Let's take you back to the numbers one more time. Charlie Crist won this race 60% to her 35% of the vote. Charlie Crist will now take on Governor Ron DeSantis in November. That's going to be a very tough race for the congressman. State Senate race here for District 35 incumbent Lauren Book. Taking on Barbara Sharif here, this race not even close. Once again, 61% to the first black Broward County Mayor Barbara Sharif, 39%. Lauren Book is talking right now. We'll go to her in just a moment at some point later on tonight so you can hear her victory speech. And let's go now to a rematch in District 20. Current Congresswoman Sheila Scherfelis McCormick running against former Broward Mayor Dale Holness. The two ran against each other in the special election to replace the late Alcee Hastings. The numbers here, Sheila Scherfelis McCormick taking this one 65% of the vote to Dale Holness 29%. And Miami City Commissioner Ken Russell and State Senator Annette Tadeo. Annette Tadeo winning this one here 68% to Ken Russell's 26%. You can see there another landslide of a race tonight. And current Congresswoman Val Demings running for U.S. Senate. There was no competition here. She mm. took 85% of that vote. Our Andrew Perez is out there uh, at her camp, and we're going to listen into what she has to say a little bit later on. We'll be following all these races for you, so we'll continue to have updates right here on Local 10. And once again, Nikki Freed in Fort Lauderdale. She did not do well tonight against Congressman <laughs> Charlie Crist and the former governor. She's giving her speech tonight to let her, all of her supporters know that she lost this rape, but she had a valiant fight. A lot more coming up later on tonight.
Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. Like us, LOL. You're going to love us. Follow Local 10 News on Facebook. You'll get the hottest videos going viral, the top stories making headlines, up-to-the-minute weather updates, and breaking news as it's happening. So go to Facebook, click like on Local 10 News, and show your love.
Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. Like us, LOL. You're going to love us. Follow Local 10 News on Facebook. You'll get the hottest videos going viral, the top stories making headlines, up-to-the-minute weather updates, and breaking news as it's happening. So go to Facebook, click like on Local 10 News, and show your love.
Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. Vote 2022. The Florida primary was held today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. We want to update you on some key races, and we have our Michael Putney standing by in just a moment. We're going to come to you, Michael, but we're going to talk about one of the key races here. Former Governor Charlie Crist, current Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Fried, and a very uh, good race here that's been really highly touted all around the state. But Charlie Crist coming out with a dominant win over uh, Nikki Fried at 60% to her 35%. And Charlie Crist spoke just moments ago. Let's listen in. Tonight, the people of Florida clearly sent a message. They want a governor who cares about them to solve real problems, who preserves our freedom, not a bully who divides us and takes our freedom away. I am so proud to have earned the support for the Democratic nomination to be the next governor of the state of Florida. Charlie Crist coming out victorious, as we just mentioned, and we want to take you back to the numbers. This is actually for the Broward County School Board ballot question. Do we want to continue? We're going to continue with the Broward County School ballot question. But as you just heard, Charlie Crist, he will now go on to take on Governor Ron DeSantis in November. So this Broward County ballot question is a tax is an increase, a property tax increase for taxpayers to continue funding Broward County public schools and teachers and voters said yes, 57 percent of that. And vote. we take it now to Miami Dade. Marta Perez is facing off against uh, Monica Colucci, a candidate backed by Governor Ron DeSantis. And it looks like this is a very, very close race. 52% Monica Colucci to the incumbent, Marta Perez, 48%. Let's bring in our Michael Putney to talk about this one and to talk about that Broward County referendum with the millage rate increase that passed. Michael, you're surprised or no? Uh, well, in fact, I am, and hats off to the voters of Broward County. Five days after a damning grand jury report, they vote to extend the property taxes for themselves in Broward County. It's not a lot but they're voting to extend the tax. So kudos to Broward County voters. Now let's go back to that race between Marta Perez and Monica Colucci. The really interesting thing here is that Monica Colucci was anointed and supported by Governor Ron DeSantis. And Marta Perez has been on the school board for nearly 30 years. She's been a steady, reputable member of the board, but Monica Colucci is more conservative then Marta Perez, and she says, I will support basically the governor's agenda, and it looks like she is going to be on the board. And Michael, stay with us here because we want to look at state Senate race for newly drawn District 35 incumbent Lauren Book taking on Barbara Sharif. 60% yeah. of the vote there, Michael. Are you surprised about this one? Well, I'm a little surprised at the margin of victory. It's a very solid margin of victory for the Senate uh, Democratic leader, Lauren Book. Uh, this is all of Western Broward County. Barbara Sharif was well known there, particularly down in the southern part of the county. And Lauren Book just walked away with it. This is a very impressive victory. And speaking of walk away, Sheila Sherfalis McCormick beating Dale Honus in that race for District 20 as well. Michael, we'll check back in with you in just a moment. We thank you for joining us. Stay with us. We're going to continue to follow all of the races and join us on local10.com.